our All Mustang interview series continues with Maddie Wilcon today. Welcome, Maddie. Hi. <laughs> Maddie, who's your parents? Kevin and Karen Wilcon. And uh, what grade are you in? 10th grade. All right. I got another sophomore. We got a lot of underclassmen this year, which is fantastic. The, uh, uh, let's see here, favorite subject in school? My favorite subject would have to be English. All right. I could have used you while I was in school. Let me tell you, that was not my favorite. Do you have a least favorite or hardest? Definitely algebra. Uh, well, either people are loving math or hating math in this interview series, so I understand that. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, I want to know your uh, extracurricular activities that you are involved in. I am in uh, varsity basketball, varsity softball. I'm a part of our BLHS trap shooting league. And during the summer, I usually am in our summer basketball league and our summer softball league. Fantastic. I'm all bummed. My girls were just getting involved in softball and now... Here we yeah. are with these times, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, I uh, I did get the honor to watch you play as a basketball player. You're fantastic. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, let's see here. I realize you're only a sophomore. Have you given any thought to what you might do uh, after high school? Um, After high school, I am thinking about definitely going to college. And I'm not sure about a career choice yet, possibly a teacher or maybe a physical therapist assistant. Yep, two fantastic choices. Heck, uh, I should be asking you what, you what you're thinking about for next year more than uh, three years from now, but uh, we'll maybe talk about that when we talk about basketball. The um, things you do for fun? Things I do for fun, I love just spending time with my family or going outside, um, going to the lake, spending time with friends, practicing basketball, softball, that kind of stuff. Of all your accomplishments up to this point, uh, which one are you the most proud of? Mm, the accomplishment I'm most proud of is probably just how far our basketball team got this year, um, because we haven't been that far in how many years, and we all worked so hard to get there, and I just think that it just really proved who yeah, we were as a team. Uh, for those watching, uh, I'm biased because I watched many games this year, so uh, it was fun to watch as well. So uh, the one uh, memory that coronavirus will take you with forever would be what? Um, probably just the the day in school when they're like, yeah, we're closing down for two weeks. It was just, it was crazy. No one, I never thought our school would close down, but because we're just so small and it was just insane to think about. Yeah, Logan Carl was on an earlier interview and he was talking about how that day ended up being his last day of school ever. Uh, it was yeah. an incredible part of uh, his interview. You have to make sure you catch his. I'm going to put you on what I yeah. call the hot seat. Give me the first thing that comes to mind as I go down my list. Uh, okay. The thing you're most passionate about. Uh, my relationship with God. If you won the lottery today, what would be the first thing that you would do? I would buy a lake home. Uh, your greatest fear in life is? Uh, drowning. <laughs> right? I haven't heard that one yet. Uh, if I gave <laughs> you a time machine, where would you go? I would go back in time. Any specific time? Um... 1800s. Okay. Uh, if I made you choose between beaches and mountains, which one would you choose? Beaches. Your favorite board game? Monopoly. Favorite food? Spaghetti. Okay. Uh, if your life was a theme song, which song would it be? Oh my gosh. Um, the theme song to Full House. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, what makes you angry? When um, my brother eats all the food in the house. <laughs> What's guaranteed to bring a smile to your face every time? Um, definitely my 
Down syndrome brother, Kevy. Uh, rich or famous? Mm, rich. Left or right? Right. Peanut butter or jelly? Peanut butter. Up early or up late? Up early. Uh, loud or quiet? Quiet. Big or small? Big. Quantity or quality? Quality. With lots of people or to yourself? Mm, lots of people. All right. You did well. Uh, you didn't even need a, a, a rain check on any of them. I'm going to end with this. I want to read what your nominator said for this award. And then I'm going to ask okay. you for your reaction. And then that'll uh, conclude our interview. So I'm going to read it now. Uh, Maddie scored uh, 20 points, made six three-pointers, and a big win over Wabasso. Maddie is a captain on our basketball team and a great leader for our program. Maddie always works hard and has a positive attitude. Whether it is in a game, at a practice, or in the weight room, Maddie always displays the qualities of an exceptional leader. She is averaging 12 points per game while shooting close to 40% from the three-point line. She's averaging almost three steals per game. She is in the top 20 in the state in made three-pointers. She, always, she always works hard, has a positive attitude, and is a great teammate. Maddie's work ethic and attitude is a big reason for the team success we are experiencing this season. What comes to mind? How do you feel? Um, I just think that through everything that you do in life, hard work will get you so far. And just knowing that you can never be the best that you can be. You can always be improving. And especially just having faith in God and giving him all the glory for everything that I accomplish in life, especially. And yeah, so I think that's just the basis of all the success I've had in everything that I've done is through ah. that. Fantastic. There's no question in my mind, you're a well-centered young lady. And not only that, you're a very deserving uh, member of the all mustang club and you're only a sophomore so i maybe get to see you for a couple more years congratulations on your award thanks for calling me in today yeah thank you have a good day